So guys, today I'm gonna show you how to compile OpenFOAM locally on your Linux installation. I've tried to install OpenFOAM on Debian over the past few days, and the first option that you get to install OpenFOAM is using Docker. So if you go here to the download, you see OpenFOAM, the releases, the download on Ubuntu, on Ubuntu, you have a na native installation. So you can go to your terminal here and you can use those commands here and you get it installed directly on your on your system. When you go to install it on other Linux, Linux distributions, you get sent to use Docker. So if you wanna go ahead and install Docker and follow those steps here, you, don't, you probably don't need to watch this video. I tried to install uh, OpenFOAM on Debian using Docker and it did not work very well. There's a lot of problems associated with using Docker. A lot of people have, have been having problems with it. And um, I'm not gonna go into specific issues of Docker, but I was not really, I was not really comfortable with installing Docker and use it on my computer. So you're gonna install files from some company and this company uh, is gonna act sort of like a virtualization system so you can run open form on your on your computer i rather have it installed locally on my computer and compiled locally and i feel that it works a lot better like this i had problems after installing with docker i couldn't open it i couldn't configure some things and pair view didn't work so I went ahead and tried to install, to, to download the files and compile it locally. To compile it locally, you have to go to the source repository and download or clone all the files on your computers and you have to compile it locally. You can do that for a lot of the, the Linux distribution, I believe. I believe you can do, you could do that to Ubuntu. You, I did that to Debian. And you probably could do that to a lot of other Linux distributions. I, I read somewhere that some guy did it for Gentoo, so it shouldn't be an issue if you have some experience with running these things on Linux. The down the the, the problem with this with uh, compiling it locally is that it takes a long time, especially on my machine, which it is not a high performance machine. But uh, I felt that it worked very well afterwards. I had a lot of problems, so I'm making this video so I can tell you guys about those problems. So if you run into them, maybe I could help you with some, with some tips. So to, to download and, and to compile it locally, you need to follow these steps here. You go to the open folk site, site, you go to downloads, and you go to source repository. If you're using Ubuntu, just follow these steps here and download it directly on your, on your machine. So there, there shouldn't be a problem. I didn't try it because I'm Debian. Ubuntu should be really similar to Debian, but I did not try and I, I really don't understand why I can't do this for Debian. I can't just have a direct pipeline here to, to run it directly on Debian because Ubuntu and Debian should be really similar. If you're using Mac, you can use Docker as well. If you're using Windows, you can use you can install the Linux subsystem in your computer and you can download it following the, the Ubuntu steps. I installed it on my other machine on Windows and it, it worked pretty well, but still you can if you can compile it natively on Linux, why not? I mean when you run it on, on Windows, there's a lot of issues with, with file transfer between the systems and running uh, Linux from terminal. So it might not be for, for everyone. So if you wanna compile it, if you wanna download it and compile it natively, so you go to source repository, like I was saying, the first thing you need to do is you need to choose the version that you're gonna install. So you have this version OpenFOAM Dev, which is the development version. Version. If you're just getting started into this, I don't think maybe it's not a good idea to download this version because 
I don't think you might be uh, modifying ma many things and things like that, then you might not be able to contribute to development at this stage. So you, you might want to do like I did, which is install and compile the, the major or compile the major release, which is open for the question mark here is the number of the, the last major version. So we have here the last version is open for eight. So we're going to go ahead and download the files from the repository locally and we're going to compile open form 8 from those files the first thing that you need to do is that you need to check the compatibility of your system and you need to install this the the software needed for compilation so let's go to the first step here installing software for compilation First thing you need is that you need to have an updated version of the GCC compiler. So the compiler is the thing that's going to compile your files obviously and it's going to create the version that it, you can use to run your your simulation. So GCC it's you can't do anything if you don't have GCC installed on your computer. Luckily all Linux distributions, all Linux systems will have this compiler natively installed. You don't have to install it. What you need to do is that you need to check the version of your GCC compiler. Compile. If you have any latest Linux distribution on a newer machine, there should be no problem. So we're going to type here GCC and version to check which version of GCC we're running. So I'm running Debian and version 8.3.0 for the GCC compiler. So you need this GCC version 4.8 or above. So we're in the clear. If you're running other compilers, you can check it if they are compatible. And if they are, you can go ahead and uh, proceed with the installation. You're going to need a lot of other software. So Flex, CMake, Qt, Git, open MPI, but those softwares here, some of them are installed in your Linux distributions. The other ones, you're gonna install it using these commands here. So this could be installed on Ubuntu, like, like we had said, and you could install that in the other Linux systems. For Ubuntu and Debian, Debian is very close to Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a derivative of Debian, Debian is older, so we're going to use the same commands here or on the sudo or super user and uh, for others this other distributions open suse uh, uh, red hat you're going to follow different steps for this this first for the, the installation of the third party software or the software necessary to compile your system so since i am on debian what I, what I need to do is, first of all, I need to log in as super user. So, you to my password. So, I'm logging as root. And what I need to do is just copy this entire line here. And go ahead and paste here on my terminal. Since I already have all those, those software, those programs installed, just hit enter here. You're going to see that it says that nothing was installed because I already have those installed. So, okay, I'm going to do the same thing for the, the programs that you need to, to for installing Paraview. So if you look here, open form, flex, make, a lot of those are going to be here somewhere. So git core. Uh, CMake, so they're all going to be here somewhere. GNU plot, a lot of those I already have installed, but some of you might not. Do the same thing for the software necessary for Paraview, curl, everything else here. Copy here on your terminal as root and install it. Install it. So I already have them installed, so I don't need to do that. So, like how I said before, the for for you guys that are not on ubuntu or debian you need to follow the steps for your particular system i'm pretty sure other systems like like i mentioned gen 2 Arch linux and all, all of those they they might be you might be familiar with how to 
install those those softwares but if you not if you already know how to install software you just need to install these programs here okay install everything after install here needs to be installed so we already have those programs those those programs installed we're gonna go ahead and go to the next page so this is for other distributions let's go to downloading the open form source code so you need to decide where you're gonna install your your open form distribution uh, it's probably not a good idea to, to to install as root or do anything as root because you could messed up this the system the, the files of your system or you can can mess up something on the installation so it's a good idea to do as they are mentioning here that is to create a folder under home not as root I already did this so i'm gonna exit root now so we're not gonna do a lot of things that we're gonna do after this we're not gonna do as root so we can don't risk doing something that we don't want to our system. I want to clear my terminal. And uh, let's see what I have here installed. I'm going to type ls, list the, the folders and the files. So I already have this open form folder created. You can create the folder using the terminal or you can use here the graphical interface. You just need to go here if you don't have it installed and you're going to right click new folder call your folder open form so we're going to install or we're going to download we're going to clone the repositories in our open form folder so i'm going to change directory to open form okay so i have some things installed here because i already installed the, the program to test so I already have those files here installed, but those are the ones that you guys are gonna get installed right now. So first thing you need to do now is to clone the repositories. What are those repositories? Those reposit repositories is where the, the code and the files are stored in GitHub. So I'm gonna open here the new tab and it takes us to GitHub. So open form, open form dev, and you have here GitHub, in the GitHub, the third-party software, which is visualization, visualization, uh, other software that you need to for running solvers and other types of solvers and everything like that. So here, open form. You're not gonna gain anything directly from here, and uh, unless you really know what you're doing, you're not gonna do get get it from the GitHub page. You could, but let's go get from our terminal. So you need to do what you need to do is to copy this here and you need to paste this here on your terminal but since you don't want to install the you might not want to install the, the development version like I did I just changed this to here to 8 okay so you give enter what this is gonna do it's just gonna create this this files here or this folders within your open form uh, folder so open form 8 and the third party third party so enter I'm not gonna give enter because I already have it download I'm gonna do the same thing you're gonna do the same thing for the for clone if you uh, hear the the third party software same thing remember don't do this as root exit root before before doing this we don't want to install the program as root unless you really know what you're doing so after you get you you clone those repositories this shouldn't take very long maybe a few minutes or 10 minutes something like that depending on your machine you're gonna have these folders installed and you need to set up the open form environment I had some trouble in this but it was some stupid thing from my part I was kind of dumb I didn't notice that there was a dot here and this dot here before the bash rc file means that the, fi the file is hidden so i forgot completely forgot about that first thing you need to do is to check which shell are you using which shell version are you using so you're gonna come here you just delete here and you're gonna use this command here echo shell echo 
currency symbol here, shell, to check which shell version you use. So I'm using Bash. So you're gonna check if you're using Bash or KSH or CSH or C to see which commands are gonna use. So since I'm using Bash, what I need to do is I need to go to the dot, dot bash rc file and I need to include this line in it. If you, you if you have the the other type of shell, the TCSH or the CSH, you're gonna include this line here. So how can I find this file? You can do this by navigating from your terminal and then use nano or vim to change the the configuration file or you can simply come here to your home now you don't see the bash, R, bash rc file what you need to do is you need to come to this arrow here and ask to show hidden files when you ask to show hidden files you're gonna find the bash rc file here you can open with test text editor if you're not on the terminal and here at the end of the file, you're gonna copy that this line here because I am on a bash type of shell. So I added here, I added this comment here because later on I might forget about it or I might not know what why this is here. So you add this and remember because you're on Open form 8, not dev, you need to change this, this to open form 8 instead of dev. Okay, so now you have to source the file. You, you need to go to the home folder. I'm gonna change the directory, go to home. Let's just check here. I am in home and I'm gonna source it using this line here. Source. Better, this line here, source, current sign, home, dash, dot, bash, bash, rc. So this sources the file, you didn't know, didn't see anything happen here, but you should have sourced the file. So after you source the file, you can test here to see everything is okay. So I'm installing the home directory. If you install in a different directory, you need to follow you need to adapt those paths here to your different uh, directory that you might be installed. So let's check if everything's okay here by typing this command here, echo currency side wm project there. So this shows me the path to the open form 8 file. So the files that we call the directory that was created automatically when we download all of that. And uh, we can also check if everything is okay with the pair view path or the path to the pair view files by typing echo pair view version. So this shows that the Paraview version, it's 5.6.3, which is the latest, latest version that's in the repository. So now what you need to do is installing the third party software. The third party software is software that is needed to, for running the open form. So you have Scotch and PT Scotch, Paraview and CG Golf. Paraview is the visualization software. So here we have the path to where the files are, but we didn't compile it yet. So this is pretty simple. You just need to follow those directions here to install Scotch, PT Scotch. You need to first, because we are dealing with the third party software, you need to go to the third party folder. So those folders here, let me just show you. I'm gonna go to the directory open form list. I'm, so you have on the directory open form, I have open form eight and third party eight. Those names were created automatically. So those are the, the clone repositories. 
to, you need to first install the third party software. So, so we first, we're gonna go to the third party eight folder. So change directory, third party eight folder. And to install the scotch pt scotch, you're gonna execute this command, command here, dot slash all w make. Let me just so, show you something first. If we go to in, in this third party software, I'm gonna list the files here. The all w make file is here. You're just gonna execute it. So slash dot slash all w make, and this is gonna compile or execute this installation for the scotch pt scotch. This does not take very long. So this should take 10 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that. It doesn't take very long at all. After you're done with the PT Scotch installation, you go to the Paraview installation. So you're gonna see that you have to execute or compile here or whatever this uh, make Paraview. The make Paraview uh, file is here, make Paraview. So you're gonna execute it, make pair of view. I'm not gonna run it again because I already have it run, I tested everything and it takes a long time. But the first time I installed it, I had a lot of problems. I had to install it twice because, but that was like, because I was, you know, was some stupidity from my part because it was asking from some file after 15 minutes and I didn't realize that it hadn't installed Paraview. And I proceeded like everything was okay, but it did not install Paraview because there was a file, in, there, there was a, a program named Time which was not installed on my computer. So I figured that you have to sudo, you have to go to root if you don't have the time install and you go sudo apt git install time. I already have it installed so nothing's gonna happen. So if I type time here, it's gonna do something because there's the, the, the time file installed. If you install anything, just leave root afterwards so you don't do, you mess up with your system. So I left root, I have time installed, I'm gonna go make pair view okay so I'm not gonna run it but this took me maybe three or four hours I'm running a, a weak machine I'm running a Lenovo IdeaPad 330 so dual core it's a it's not a very powerful machine it's it doesn't have it's not a high performance machine so it took me about three or four hours and the uh, after you got Paraview installed, if everything goes okay with the compilation, you need to set the, the environment either by sourcing the bash file or just typing wm refresh. So this sources it, and if everything is okay, just type Paraview and you should run Paraview. So we don't have anything to show in Paraview because we did not install open foam yet we install it we will install open foam last but here's paraview if you have files you can open your files and you can visualize your files but we don't have paraview installed so let's proceed to compiling open foam so to compile open foam what you need to do is you need to leave the third party eight folder and you have to go to the let me just list here again you have to go to this folder here, open folder eight. So let's go to open for eight. And this file here, I'll make, you're gonna have an I'll makes file within open form eight. So you type again, dot slash I'll w make, and you type enter. There's an option here that you could add J after so I'll make the uh, dash J here. So you can compile in parallel using your or available cores, hyper threads from your computer. So it's, it's 
um, should be a more efficient way of compiling this. It should take less time if you have a good machine, a quad core or something like that. I mean, mine took, it didn't help a lot because I, I as I told you guys, this is not a very powerful machine. It's not a high, high performance machine. So this took me maybe 10 hours. I started late in the evening and uh, ended up the next day around 10 a.m. So it took a long time. I left the computer overnight. I left, I left it with the charger cable on, and uh, but it, it went okay. It, it just took a long time, but it, it went all okay. So after all of that, you have open form compiled and you have pair view compiled. So what you need to do is to update your system. Just do git po. You should probably do this periodically so you have the latest version and everything else so since everything is already up to date we, I don't need to do anything else I don't need to recompile here the update nothing like that uh, so that's that that should be it to install in Paraform so we have Paraview and we have Paraform installed in, in the computer now if you want to test everything you can go let's go to let's go into the ubuntu tutorial here there's there, there are a lot of good tutorials on the internet on 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 youtube so if you want to learn learn more how to use the system you can follow one of those tutorials so let's just do a simple run here so you guys test to see if everything installed okay so first I'm gonna go to the open form file and I'm gonna create here a directory called form run. So it's gonna create this command here, form run, it's gonna create a folder for the runs with my name or the name of my computer. So let's just copy here, mkdir creates the directory and uh, we're gonna create the directory right here form run, I'm gonna type ls here, so it created this directory here, tleon8. It's gonna create a directory with the name that your computer is, I mean, with the name associated with your computer, plus the version, which is the version eight. So we're gonna use this to run tutorials and run our files so we don't mess up with the files of the installation. We can copy everything here and run so we don't mess up with the installation. You're gonna see that after you install open form, if you go here to open form eight, you have this folder named tutorials. So everything, there's a lot of good tutorials here. A lot of people that give tutorials on YouTube, the tutorials are, are found here. So let's check here. So there's a lot of Let's list a lot of good tutorials here, combustion, compressible, electromagnetics, Lagrangian, multi-phase, incompressible, and so forth. So let's go back to the to the to our to our folder where we're gonna do the run. And uh, what, what we're gonna do is we already created this folder for Better. Let's just where we we have to change to the, to the directory for for uh, form run, which is tleon8. So form run re renames to tleon8. So if you execute change directory to from run, run, it's gonna go to this folder here. So you wanna work on this folder here, so you can copy the tutorials and execute it from here, so you don't have a chance of messing up anything in your system. If you copy this line here, what this line does, it's, it goes to the tutorials folder, incompressible examples, simple form solver, and the pits daily folder, and copies the pits daily folder to this file form run, which is tlion8 on my computer. So I'm just gonna copy here, just gonna paste it here, the dot here means that it's gonna be uh, copied to this folder, the present folder. 
the last time I the first time I, I didn't pay attention to this dot and I, I it ended up not working so if you run this now ls list you're gonna have pits daily within your uh, run folder change your folder to pits daily ls now here you have the initial conditions constant system there's a lot of tutorials that are going to explain a lot better than i could what are these initial conditions the mesh and everything like that so i'm not going to mess with that it's just a simple example to show if the system is running so we, we have to execute the block mesh so this generates the mesh you're going to see that in other tutorials there are other ways of generating the mesh you're going to see that this runs one of the files that is stored in this folder so this is the contents of the file that's been run we executed the mesh now you're going to have to execute the the solver so the solver in this case is simple form there's several other folder so the solvers that's going to use for other problems run it, it depends on the mesh and depends on, on on several conditions on your problem this could take a while depending on your problem this problem is simple so it's not going to take very long but like i told you guys my computer it's not very powerful it's not a high performance computer so it take, took about 17 seconds for this simple problem now we have everything solved so if you go to the pits daily folder you now have other than the initial conditions you have 100 200 and 287 i believe it's seconds but i'm not sure so now you execute pair form which is sort of like a link to pair view from open form. and this is gonna open this file here pits daily dot form in pair view here in pair view what you need to do is pits daily dot open form it's already here you're gonna apply and then you're gonna see here your geometry this is the geometry of the problem you can see here the if you go here to surface with edges you see you're supposed to see the mesh uh, I just try to I just let's just look at the surface you can look here and you can see the velocity and pressure so if you look here at the velocity this is at time zero you can animate here by pressing run but because you, you only have i think three times other than zero it would be a really simple animation but you can check here every particular time to velocity and you can do the same for pressure okay for each time So it's interesting here you have a you have a you have a simulation you run your first simple simulation here is the the view of your simulation here you have the magnitude of velocity and there's a lot of possibilities to work with this program 